What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 112. And today we're going to talk about your, your triggers, your habits, your rituals. Are they serving you? Are they, are they hurting you? Are they, what are they? Do you know your triggers and habits? We'll get into all that. We'll break it down. We're going to break it down. Uh, what you need to do more of, what you need to do less of, and what you need to start doing and possibly stop doing. As always, here on Steve Says, this is not always what you want to hear, but it's what you need to hear. And some people will hate, but most can relate. But regardless, we are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset to adapt and overcome in your health your family, your finances, so that you can destroy the obstacles and stop being a little bitch, getting your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms. This is the mind portion of our our daily live shows here. This is all about the mindset. About It's really focusing on the mind-body business, specifically the mindset, having a role model mindset, how to operate to dominate with discipline, energy, confidence, being an action taker, a bold move maker, a risk taker, and living life on your own freak terms. That's what this is all about on Steve Says. And today, so we're going to talk about triggers. Now, when people hear triggers, it's just like with a lot of things, like with, say, attitude or energy. You can have good or you can have bad. It really depends on how you think of it. So I'm just curious, when you first hear the, the word triggers, does that automatically, do you think something positive or you think negative? And it, when you hear things like that or you hear the word obsessed, do you think obsessed is a good thing or a bad thing? Or you hear the word attitude, do you think automatically you think attitude as in, oh, someone with a poor attitude? Or you think someone with a fucking awesome attitude? Which one is it? And that's the same thing with triggers. Anything in life, there, you need to understand the, the good side and the fucking evil side. You need to understand the beast side and the bitch side. And the same thing goes with triggers. There are positive and negative triggers. But it's always interesting to see when you hear words like that, that can be positive or negative. What is the, a, the first snap judgment that comes into your head? And that tells you about kind of the way that you are, you are leaning towards in life in general. And you probably need to th- real, figure out why is that? Why do you lean towards like when you hear the word obsessed and you think that's a bad thing. Or when you hear attitude, you think, oh, someone's got an attitude. They got a bad attitude. I maybe sound someone has a, a fucking awesome attitude. Someone's putting in maximum effort. They got a great attitude no matter what the situation. They find the positive side and everything. So think of triggers as in the same way. Automatically, when I hear trigger, I think of trigger. What's going to trigger me to take action? What's going to trigger me to, to do what I need to do to spark this habit into place? But you do also need to be aware of that other side, of all these words of energy, of attitude, of obsessed, but especially of triggers. You need to be aware of what are, first of all, your personal negative triggers. What are the buttons? You know your buttons that could be pushed. What are they? You also need to learn what are the triggers of other people? What are the triggers of your family members, your spouse, your fucking pet goat? What are their triggers? And, not, and, and when you learn those triggers of those type of people, not using it against them. Now, if you learn the triggers of your fucking enemy, your competitors, push away, motherfucker, push away, push those buttons. It's, 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 it's war out there, right? The invasion is coming. So learn your own triggers. Make sure that you are aware of your own triggers and, and you have that split second capability to not let yourself be affected by them. Be aware when your triggers are being pushed. You know what they are. You know what they are. What are some, put in the comments about what are some of your personal negative triggers. Let's start with there. What are some of your negative triggers? And then when you find out what are those triggers, what are those issues that you have? If you dig a little deeper, you'll find out the root cause of those and it's probably something not what's on the surface level. Like I'll tell you one of my fucking weird triggers is I cannot stand, I fucking can't stand it. Like I want to stick a fork in your eyeball when I hear someone chomping and chewing with their mouth open And making weird noises while they're chewing. And then especially when they start talking while they're chomping and chewing like that. I can't. It drives me fucking nuts. Now, is that something personal against the person sitting there next to me? No. Everyone chomps here and there now and then. Like I hear it just once or twice. It's like, that's like that button, that automatic fucking trigger button. Like, fuck. And I start digging deep. It's nothing against that person. 
Is it a bad habit to have? Is it kind of nasty and disgusting? Sure it is. But that's even not what it is. Is it bad manners? Is it that no one ever taught me that that's not really the way you should eat? And so I want to teach other people that, yeah, now we're starting to get somewhere. You start digging deeper and deeper, deeper down to the real fucking root cause of what your triggers are. And you can understand them, have awareness of them, and then have awareness when they're starting to come on. So you can chop that motherfucker's head off so that you get rid of that bullshit stories you're telling yourself in your head. So as I dig deeper, I remember as a kid hearing my father chomping Mm, 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 grunting and groaning and complaining and, 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 and whatever. Those, that chomping. And it, it, to this day, it's, it's one of the triggers that's still there and you have these flashbacks. And it's like, okay, that has nothing to do with this situation I'm in right now. That means nothing. I'm a fucking grown up. We put on our big whip points and we get over it. And if it's with, if it's my kids chomping and, and mom, chomping away, it's like, all right, chew with your mouth closed. That's not if you were out in a restaurant. If you're out there with your future girlfriend, Tyson, you're not going to be chomping like that. She's going to think you're disgusting. She's going to be she's going to be gone. So it's getting that mess across their way. I mean, it's when, when I first hear it, it's like, I want to say, motherfucker, stop chewing like a fucking... It's like if a cow and a camel had a love child, that's what it would eat like. Like, that's... That's how much it triggers. Like, you need to know what are your mental triggers, and but not just know them on a surface level. Dig fucking deeper and deeper and deeper. Your negative mental triggers. Know what your buttons are that could be pushed. Because let me tell you, if if you allow someone else to, to know what those buttons are to push of yours, you become their bitch. You become their bitch. You need to know what your triggers are, be aware of them, and know how to fucking wipe them off the face of the earth. Know how to control them. Know how to avoid them. Know how to stop them before it happens. And this is all part of the freak code, as you can see on here. By the way, it's a freak code. The freak code, freak mode 40 is coming up. It's part of the freak code. It's a 40 day and night daily discipline habit challenge coming up in the next couple weeks. If you want information about that, just send me a private message. I'll get you on the waiting list for that. It's going to be freaking awesome. It will completely transform and change Every area of your life, your mind, your body, your business, and your family and social interactions in 40 days, it's going to be fucking amazing. It will change your life. It's exactly how we've been living our lives for the last two decades. So it's the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge. Send me a message. Want some more information about that? That's coming out in the next couple of weeks. But let's get back to the trigger. So first off, know your negative triggers. Know what your buttons are. Be aware of them and stop them. Cut that fucking head off the second that serpent starts showing its damn head. Then from there, now let's talk about act- like triggers that, that you, you, you have that set off positive motions, set off positive actions. Like for me, in, in one of my triggers is I, I want to I do more Instagram stories, right? Throughout the day because I realize I need to speak more. I need to speak up more. I need to talk more. I need to reach out to more people because I get messages all the time. From, from people that say, you know what, I really needed to hear that message today and I realize I'm doing a disservice to myself by not, by not just speaking up and putting myself out there more and doing a disservice to other people that are relying on my help and my guidance and coaching. So I want to do more stories throughout the day, just sprinkle throughout the day. So one of my triggers is, right after my morning routine, my trigger is I finish journaling, finish my morning motivational reading. I have a morning, it triggers my morning message and I do it every morning. An Instagram story, it's anywhere from 30 to 90 seconds, and it's just a motivational tip of the day. Now, that triggers me. When I finish it, I stand up from my journaling, reading, and meditating in the morning, a part of my morning routine. It triggers me to pop open and do that. Now, it took a while for me to get used to that habit. It took a while where I'd have to actually look on a checklist, and I'd go get ready to start going to work mode, and I'd see my checklist that I didn't get to my Instagram story. But now, eventually, you you set those triggers up enough that eventually, when I do this, this happens. Or if this happens, then this happens. You set those enough, it now becomes automatic. It now becomes like literally, when I stand up out of that chair, it's like right away, boom, into Instagram story mode. And the same thing when I'm going to the to the actual uh, public gym, the, the, the local gym, is I pull the parking lot in, I hit the parking space, and bam, I'm going to do a, a quick fitness, nutrition, Instagram story with some valuable information that could help out some of the followers and some people and some friends and family and clients and whoever else and, and fucking strangers. So those are just a, a simple idea of triggers. Now, 
it could be, what are, what are some of your triggers? Like, think about it. Like, I set up doorway triggers, going through a doorway about who I need to be entering that room. There are triggers around the house, specific areas of the house that trigger specific actions and specific motions, emotions about who you need to be, how you need to interact. Like I know that a specific chair I sit in, it's triggering me to go into thinking mode, to reflective mode. That's where I do my journaling. That's where I do my, my uh, meditation. And that's where I do my reading is in a specific spot, a specific chair, in a specific corner. It's actually right over there on the other side of this office. And I know when ass hits chair, it's like right into that deeper, reflective thinking mode. It took a while to get to that, but now it's been happening over and over and over again that it's a trigger. Then here's my desk, right? This, this, this setup right here is my actual desk. I have my screen, bigger screen right here. Uh, the second screen and actually a huge third screen over there, a monitor to keep track of metrics and scoreboards and everything throughout the day, all the metrics I need to follow for the day. Now, this is my work space. This is a trigger. That ass hits chair here, it triggers to get into a deep work focused mode. Nothing else happening here. There's no fucking social media happening. There's no Instagram stories happening here. It's work time. It's work time. And that's when I'm sitting in the chair. The only time I'm standing up behind this desk is during this during Steve Says episodes. So when I slide that chair out, it's the trigger to go into Steve Says mode where I'm going to go into this, this personal development type teaching that we're doing and personal development type discussion. It's all triggers. Like, And just think about it, the day is just trigger after trigger after trigger. It's just ritual after ritual, habit after habit. And most of these things need to start off very forced. You do have to force it. You have to set up like a written checklist and remind yourself over and over and set up reminders and sticky notes and fucking jars of quarters that remind you to do stuff to trigger it. And eventually, as you do it, you start it being forced and you force it and you force it and it starts becoming very deliberate. And eventually, it becomes intentional and from intentional to automatic. So go through those phases and, and, and don't be a little bitch and quit because it's too hard to force yourself to do it. It's, you know, forced deliberate, intentional, and then it becomes automatic. Now those things are automatic. S hits chair right here. It's like time to make some motherfucking money. Time to create some impact making material. S hits chair here. It's time to make some income, create some, generate some income to create some value for clients and customers and, and prospects and followers. Like that's what happens in the chair right here. Now, other areas of the house set off different triggers, different doorways set off triggers, different chairs, different tables, different couches. Like that, the house is designed to be very ritualistic and set off triggers. You, you have specific activities that happen in specific areas of the house, specific areas of your life, specific rooms, specific places, the way that you're standing. And you should always know who you need to be triggering, who you need to show up as in each of those situations. And it's going to be forced and delivered at first, but then it's going to become intentional and focused and then motherfucking automatic. And that's the way you need to think about it. You need those triggers with how you interact with people. How you interact with people. Uh, you need to realize that the, the old, old bad habits that you have are probably from negative Triggers. So that's why you need to know both sides of the coin there. Just like everything else, you need to understand good energy and bad energy. Uh, positive attitudes and poor attitudes. Obsessed with the right things, obsessed with fucking wrong things. Like, let me tell you, I used to have, some, and, and then we're talking about, oh, and even like stupid, there are stupid rituals that don't serve you anymore and find out what those things are. Like I used to have some weird and I've never even probably shared this stuff on, on a public video before, but I used to have different, I don't know what you even call it, if they was, these are just habits, rituals, that were absolutely fucking stupid. And I'll share some of them here, but I had tons of them. Tons of them. So I had some breakthroughs and realized, like, what the fuck? What a waste of time and energy and focus. Like, for instance, on a radio, on a, on a, on a, a dial, a, a temp, a, not a temperature, a fucking volume. And this is something I don't think I've ever even shared because it's so fucking weird. But uh, in 
all fairness, I'm asking you, what are some of your triggers? I'm going to tell you. The volume had to be on an even number or I'd fucking lose my shit. I could be driving a car and if I saw the volume on an odd number, I would risk crashing the car to make sure it got to an even number. That's how fucking... And imagine having, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 different types of triggers or rituals or habits or whatever the fuck you want to call it like that. And then literally one day, I was reading a book. I don't remember what book it was. It might have been Psycho-Cybernetics. It had nothing to do with that really, but something in a book that I read triggered something in me and said, you know what? This is fucking stupid. This is a waste of your damn energy, waste of your focus. Like That energy and that obsessiveness can be used for much better things, for creating much bigger impact and much different type of fucking mental and emotional energy than something like that. And there were tons of different little stupid rituals and habits I had like that that on, in that moment, I said, fuck it, they're all done, they're cut. And some of these things I'm talking about, I was getting done for decades, like 15 to 20 years, cut, like bam, like cold fucking turkey, this is stupid. It's no longer these habits and triggers and rituals no longer serve me. No longer freaking serve what I'm doing. So what are some of your triggers? Let's see a, some comments here. Pomodoro time allows me to focus. Yes, Pomodoro Timer. So, yeah, I, I use similar, but depending on the task I'm doing, I'll go anywhere from 30 minutes to 50 minutes, occasionally 90 minutes. If it's just like deep work and I'm in flow, it's like I'll get a 90 minute and then that'll give me a long, I'll take a longer 15 minute break. So, like the Pomodoro technique is, is technically 25 minutes and then a five minute break for different intervals, then a longer one, longer break later. But onto that, you, you figure out, and I like, to, I like to different people, different personalities, different energy levels. Uh, different lifestyles, you tweak that a little bit to fit your style, but hell yeah, those, those, and those are triggers, that's a trigger, trigger to get into laser beam focus mode, that is definitely a trigger, just a timer is a trigger, and I keep an hourglass, that's a trigger, I keep, the, the, you need to be, have those rituals and triggers and habits all around you, visual triggers, mental triggers, actual objects and things around you, like everything around here that you see around here has, serves a purpose, it's not just clutter and junk, like around my desk, everything is a trigger. Let me show you one right here. Look at this. This truck. It's a Dodge Ram Rebel. A red one. There's a trigger, and I keep this right on my desk. Yep, I play with little toys on my fucking desk. Bet you didn't know that. Come through the project, and you see what goes on in the project. Just reading some of these comments. Get into instructor mode as soon as I park in the parking lot. Yes, hell yeah. You, you're parking and that's like a doorway trigger, a parking trigger. You, 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 your foot hits the concrete of the pavement when you're going into your business or your company. You're going into sales mode. Like there has to be different triggers. So like, bam, like Jordan Belfort in the book, The Wolf of Wall Street was over here somewhere. We're right here. Way of the Wolf. One of his triggers before going into sales mode was he says the olfactory old factory sugar where he actually would sniff something and I'm not even I guess he was past his cocaine days but it was just a scent that triggered certain emotions in him that he used to close deals and it would trigger him that he'd, he'd smell that scent and it would put him into sales mode like that's a trigger so many different ways it's unlimited you can get so creative and have fucking fun and create your own triggers as long as you're not fucking stupid like mine with the the volume but anyway back to this so everything around here, the way the books are designed, the different hats that are up here, the books that are up here, there's little trophies over there, there's pictures, all kinds of stuff surrounding me. Every one of these is a fucking trigger. This is a trigger to remind myself to shut the fuck up before speaking. And my theme of the year for 2021 was shut up. And this was what triggered that theme for the year. Shut up. Because... Shit happens, right? You, 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 things, you know what triggers you. And I, I, we opened up with that, having that billionth of a second of, of time in between stimulus and response, right? That billionth of a second, that can mean the difference between success and failure. It can mean the difference between marriage and fucking divorce. It can mean the difference between fucking millionaire and homeless. That billionth of a second between stimulus and response, how you respond to it. There's a huge, huge, uh, point in there of that's where shut up came from so christmas last christmas christmas of so that makes it christmas of 2020 because we're coming to so christmas of 2020 i get this as a christmas gift or maybe even birthday of 2020 because that was november i get this as a gift and i'm opening up the, the it up and i look at this 
And I say, I start saying, what the, what the fuck is this? What am I going to do with a, a stupid toy truck? And I start saying that out loud as a gift, thinking that the Russian gave this to me. And what do I do? I look at Tyson and I see his face and it's like this disappointed look, down, sad, depressed, and that kid doesn't get down often. And I'm looking at him after I say that and I realize, holy fuck, he must have picked it out. Because I just got this truck. I just bought this truck on my on my birthday, Dodge Ram Rebel, 2021 Dodge Ram Rebel. I just got last year, November of 2020. And he thought it'd be cool if I had a replica of my truck. He saw it. He thought I would like it at the store. Look at this fucking thing. And it's actually pretty awesome. I sit here and play with it on my desk. This is my reminder. That's why I created the theme for 2021. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. No one to shut up and no one to speak up. This is a trigger. Sitting on my desk and I'm on a sales call and I have some fucking dumbass that I'm, I'm talking to about joining the project and he's telling me some stupid stuff and irritating stuff. I look at it and I realize that's why I'm the instructor. That's why this motherfucker needs a project. So instead of me snapping and telling me he's a fucking pussy, even though that's what he needs to hear, it's like, all right, shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up for that billionth of a second to chop the head off of those triggers, off of those buttons. Right there is a fucking massive trigger of mine that I keep on this desk and I'll have this on the desk forever till the fucking day I die. Fucking awesome. And that's all around. There it is surrounded. There's up here on some of these cameras, you can see an ax from the project, from the instructor being of the project. Different tattoos are triggers, relics, different relics that remind you of different things. Those are all triggers. Just reading. Asian Invasion. Have a dummy pistol in my apartment in order to practice dry fire at paper targets to get better. That's a different kind of trigger. I like that. A different kind of trigger. Yeah, we're all about triggers. Or you can get not a practice, not a dummy pistol and go practice. I need to get shooting. I need to get shooting. I need to get shooting this month. I need to get shooting. It's been a while since we're shooting. I'm going to go this weekend maybe. Got to get some, some range time in. Got to go pick up a new AR-15 maybe this, this week and go, go out to the range. So anyway, the point is, know your triggers, know your good ones, create create good ones, take your fucking bad ones and learn how to take them and flip the switch on those and take that energy, that, that tension and those vices and that OCD. Imagine if you took that, that, the way that you were, and learn how to flip it and use it as a fucking superpower. That's some powerful stuff. That's some massive stuff. And if you just had triggers all over you that just triggered you to take action, triggered you to quit fucking bullshitting. My trigger, alarm on my phone. The specific tune now, I've been using the same sound of the alarm on the phone for I don't know how many years now. Fucking years. That sound, automatically, I could hear it right now if it went off and in my head, it's I'm going to just say, no excuses. I am fucking awesome. Kill. Like, that's my mantras for the day. That's my mantra today. Today's going to be fucking awesome. I am fucking awesome. No excuses. Never accept any. Never make any. I'm going to kill the fucking day. I'm going to kill the fear. Kill the doubt. Kill the procrastination. Kill the inner voices. The inner demons. The inner bitches. I'm going to kill those negative triggers. I'm going to kill the fuck. Like just the sound of that alarm sparks that like that. Sparks it. Triggers are also learning ways to change your state. And that's a whole separate topic. There's so many different ways to change your state. Like we said with the, 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 the a smell can change your state. A sound, music can change your state. Those are all triggers. A visual picture of yourself at, at your best. A visual picture of yourself at your worst. A name you give to that person. So many different ways to change your state. Those are all triggers that can lead you to taking fucking action. It's all about, bam, taking action. Like, that's the way you need to think about it. Learn what your bad triggers are. Create Fucking awesome triggers that will lead to awesome habits. And this is a perfect time talking about this. You can see here the freak code. Part of the freak code is the freak mode 40 challenge coming up in just a couple of weeks. It's the freak mode 40 daily disciplines. It's a 40 day and 40 night habit challenge. It's going to be fucking awesome. It's going to be still not released, but if you want information about that, send me a private message. I'll get you on the waiting list. Make sure you get all the information that you need to know about it. I'm telling you, it will change your freaking life like no other type of program you've ever done. And it's going to be done at your own time. You start your own time. You don't have to wait for a start date. Once you get on the program, you're up and running. We onboard you and you start kicking ass right from that moment. And by the end of 40 days, you have what we called, you are in freak mode status. That's where you are. 
fucking freak mode. You are operating to dominate in your mind, your body, and your business with discipline, energy, confidence, action, and being your freak motherfucking self. That's what it's about. Demonstrating personal freedom, self-expression. This is what life is all about. This is the, the, the highest goals and it's what you're looking for really in life. Of, of really fulfillment in life. It's the freak code coming up. It's the freak mode 40 D- daily discipline challenge coming up in just a couple weeks. If you want information about that, send me a private message. If you need higher level help on a one-on-one basis, there is also OTD one-on-one personal discipline coaching where we can talk about what type of, of program would work best for you. Send me a message. We'll hop on the phone and talk about it. And for now, Study what are your triggers, meditate on them, journal about them, what are your negative triggers, how can you flip the fucking script on them, which triggers are no longer serving you, what positive triggers can you set, what relics can you put around to trigger you and stimulate you to take fucking action, to operate, to dominate in your day and have daily domination to make sure you don't have another bad fucking day and every day is a good motherfucking day. If you have any questions about any of this, put a comment below or just send me a private message. Let's talk about it. I want to hear about what's, what are some of your fucking weird, freak, nasty triggers and what are some of your positive triggers around you that drive you and move you to take action. That's what motivation is. That's what motivation is, moving you to take action. What are your triggers that motivate you, that get you rolling, get your ass out of bed and light the fucking world on fire and bring you towards your higher calling? Let me know down in the message what are some of your triggers Tell me some stories. I want to hear about it. I told you some deep, dark, dirty secrets of mine, like the fucking volume thing, which is just weird. The chewing, chomping thing. If you didn't know, I actually thought it was so weird. One day on Google News, I don't really read the news once in a while. I'll just check Google News and see what's going on with whatever. And there was a study. It said people who are disgusted by chompers actually is a sign of being a genius. It's a true story. You think I'm making that shit up? I don't know who the fuck decided. I guess someone was like me. They were just so freaked out and disgusted by people chomping that they did an a, a actual scientific study on it and somehow they came up with if you get irritated by people chomping their food, it's a sign of being a genius. So I guess I'm just a genius motherfucker. Who knew? Who knew? Anyway, put the message down. Let's talk about it. I'm open for the conversation on your different triggers. I want to hear about it. I want to hear about all your weird shit that you do. And let me tell you, if you need help with anything, just reach out. I will talk to you later. And in case no one told you yet today, You are fucking awesome. No excuses.